Okay, we'll try to play around him. He's like 20 pounds, you guys. I just, I can't do anything about it. He just does what he wants. The Red Kingdom's in ruins. How did we end up here, Mal? I thought we were jumping. When you defeated her, I tried to reclaim the castle, but I was set upon by her monstrosities. The malignant royal bitch still reigns. I'm here to petition her. I must get inside. The only way in is through me. Sacrifices must be made. Those who say so usually mean they should be made by others. Cynicism is a disease. It can be cured. Once inside, beware of the outsized killer who patrols her domain. Never confront him. He is invincible. Now... He's hitting me with his tail, you guys. He's sitting on the keyboard. Because he's a bad boy. You're a bad boy, Moro. Why? You knock my coffee over, I'll kill you. We were... No, what happened? We were jumping. Yeah, the tail... Yeah, he'll hit me in the face with it, too. He's real mean. It's real bitchy. I'm Mal, we were jumping over here. What happened? I don't understand. Oh, I see. There's secrets. Okay. We need all the teeth. How we level our weapons with teeth. I have no explanation for why. I hear a pig. Mel. I hear a piggy. This is what he does, you guys. Maroki just he just sits where I'm putting my hands. It's the kind of cat that he is. I had no idea if I landed on that, to be honest with you. All right. Yeah, Malicious has probably played this game 743,000 times. Um, she's like a beautiful butterfly playing this game. She never fa fails and, or dies or falls. It's very ridiculous. Yeah, because why not? Yeah, I don't know. Is there a reason for that, Mal? Why teeth? Just because it's weird. I'm not sure what the reason for that is. It's creepy, probably. All right, let's see. Maybe because it's like the dream, you know? You always dream of your teeth falling out. I'm not really sure. Oh God, why did it not let me? Like pulling me backwards, that was weird. Oh God, cat hair in my face. Wasn't worth it, you guys. Don't kiss cat faces, bad idea. I do it all the time and I always regret it. All right. He likes it. He told me. It's funny because my newest cat hates. Oh. Mal, it keeps pushing me backwards when I jump. That's weird. Is that a level thing? Kind of strange. I feel like that didn't happen until now. <laughs> it's like a tooth fairy, but it's screwed up. <laughs> It's definitely screwed up. Why does, why does it feel like these are oh? We were trying to get back over there anyway, it works. Alright. Uh-oh, where did it put us? Couldn't be that easy, could it? I thought it would put us on the other side where we started. Nope. Did I go the wrong way back at uh, no? No. I just have to jump up there? Boo. We made it. Woo. Woo. I'm bad at platformers, you guys. It's really bad. Every success, I celebrate. Okay, we started there. We went up here. I got this. Yeah, no, I know. There's a couple fights I was like, fuck it. I just put it on easy. I was like, I'm not doing this again. We kept accidentally saving with like two like flower health left out of like 12. And I kept restarting the fight and it was not working. So I was like, well, we're putting it on easy because I'm not doing this all day. We just want the storyline. I don't really care. All right, let's see. I only did that twice, though, so far. <laughs> oh, wow. She does look weird, Mal. Hi, we missed you. How are you? It's gotten so much better now. It's not creepy. It got really cute. And he's... Ignore that skull. Everything's fine. 
think this is the queen. It's gorgeous. Okay. What could possibly go wrong? Air pig. Pick somewhere. Air pig. Mel. I hear it. Where is it? There's an invisible pig somewhere. Okay, we'll do this first. There's a house. Down there? What does that mean? I hear it. Oh, you fuck. It was above my head. It's so weird how it works. You can, like, hear it in your ears. Like, it's in a direction. You got me thinking about things I like? What, like bacon? What do you like? Is that a sheep monster? What is that? Alcor? Never ending story? I can't tell what that is. Yeah, right? The little pink noses? <laughs> I don't. Can we reach that? I guess so. Oh, I see. You shrink? Yes, you can go down into those little sheep monsters, go down in them. You can. Break them, go back. What? Ah. I like space and cosmic horror, but I'm not a fan of horror gore. Oh, Blackwell, I thought we were best friends. Why would you say something so hurtful to me? Your outfits look cool, but I'm not into creepy. You're not into me? Wow, Blackwell. I don't know why you would say things like that. I'm a creepy thing. I can play in the keyhole? That's what she said. Wait, what? <laughs> You're not into creepy things? What do you mean, Blackwell? That's so lame. No taxidermic abominations in the house. That reminds me, I had a friend on Snapchat. <laughs> Why does your aesthetic have to match things? I don't know. I like lots of things that don't match my aesthetic. There we go. What's wrong with that? I like adorable things, and I also like spooky things. I like lots of things. What about aliens? You don't like spooky aliens? That are, like, scary? Aliens are cool. That's why I was thinking about things. It's okay, we'll make you love them. Well, like, you know, like, aliens versus predators. Like, if you were playing an aliens game and they were, like, really, like, go like gooey and nasty, you wouldn't think that's cool? Hey, Mel, do you say go back this way or go back that way? In here? Oh, these. Got it, got it. I got it. I, I'm catching what you're throwing. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Sneaky. Cosmic? Yeah, probably. I don't know. I guess. I don't know what you call it. There we go. Kind of, yeah, right? You don't know how you feel about gory aliens? Have you seen me play Viscera Cleanup yet or no? Psychological horror. Yeah, psychological horror is good too. Um, I to be honest, I'm not as big of a horror fan as Malicious is. I'm probably more of a comedy fan, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, if, if you asked me to watch like a horror movie versus like Robin Hood Men in Tights, I would pick Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yeah. I mean, I, I like like stupid comedy over horror probably. I mean, I like horror, but like, yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, I don't, you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't necessarily, like, pick horror over other things. Yeah, I like other things, too. I tried to my little... Oh, my gosh, our brother's playing at Poodles right now, and he's almost done. I almost didn't fucking stream the other day because he was towards the end of it. That game is... I would never play it. Never, ever, ever. Eh-eh. Uh -uh. Never. What do you like, Blackwell? Do you like sports? Do you like sports ball? Do you like man things? Like hardware shows? What is your aesthetic? <laughs> he likes fallout and beards. He likes hats. That I know. 
Okay, let's see. I think that's it, Mal. That's all that's over here. I think we have to go back. You don't know what you like? Blackwell needs to figure himself out. Why is that a tough question? You don't know what things you like? I like the color red. Um, I'm gonna be honest though, actually, you know what, I think um, me and my siblings were raised with too much confidence. That's what I think. What do you think, Mel? You like wrestling? Wrestling's good. We like wrestling. I grew up on WCW, WWF, ECW. Yeah, I like wrestling. There we go. We were talking about how Mick Foley is my favorite and people were shocked by that. Yeah, anything he did. I liked uh, when he had Sokka was good. Cactus Jack was not my favorite, but it was still good. Yeah, I absolutely love Mick Foley. He's like my favorite wrestler of all time. Yeah, I like wrestling. I don't like actually, you know, other sports really. I mean, I don't mind playing sports when I was younger, but I don't, uh, I don't particularly like watching sports. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Mel, I'm scared. Okay, it wasn't related to that. That scared me. Motor biological horror too, especially in books. Like, um, cause you know, you can imagine it how you want in your head. Absolutely. Yeah, we like wrestling. Me and uh, Two Wheels and Coffee ride motorcycles. Uh, we don't race, but we do have motorcycles. There we go, for sure. Yeah, I think, um, I would say, right Mel? I would say that I have unfortunately never had an identity crisis. I, I have, uh, I have been obnoxiously myself, probably since I was six. <laughs> right, Mel? I think I'm probably too much myself, my opinions. Even, like, things like my hair's been the same for 16 years. Um, yeah, maybe around, like, 10 to 13. 10 to 14, maybe? Yeah, when I was a cheerleader, I was floundering for fucking sure. Um, but yeah, I would say, like, 15 to 20 something yeah i yeah well that's when the bipolar started we think was around 12. yeah to not be yourself what does that mean you guys we're digging in what what do you mean i think the thing is well bad habits are bad yes but i do think the thing is i have met so many people that say things to me like um i would do that or like Compliments that are backhanded. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he explained it. Yeah. Yeah, bad habits are bad. Um, I do think some things, though, like, people will say things to me like, I wish I was brave enough to have that hair color. <laughs> and they'll say things like, well, it wouldn't look good on me. And I've thought since I was like 15, people have said things like that to me. And my hair has quite literally been the same for almost 20 years. And, uh, it's funny, I, I always think like, if you gave a shit less, like it would look good on you, right? Like I think, I think some things about yourself, even like me smoking, I, I think the thing is, is that I just don't care what other people think. So it's like most people stop making negative comments because I just don't fucking care. Like, you know, but yeah, I think you do have to find things that you like about yourself and just kind of go with that because that's how I feel. I just, I do what I want. And I went in to get this tattoo from my tattoo artist, it's like a streamer on here. And because I have these, right, because they're, they're very pretty and they're very detailed and they were very expensive, and he drew them. He was like, are you sure you want that? And you want that there? Just because it's more simple and stuff. And he's like, well, I could redraw it. And I was like, it's an homage to your tattoos. There's like a Medusa on it and you did a Medusa. Like, that's stupid. Why would you redraw it? But he was like, I think he thought because I have like nice, like expensive tattoos, I can't possibly have like a cute cartoon there. And I'm just not that kind of person. I'm like, I like it. I like the other one. I don't fucking care. I, I really don't have like a, um, I, I, yeah, I really don't do things for other people, I guess. Not in that way. You know what I mean? Not about myself. Um, it's, I just, I never have, unfortunately. Yeah. Over 13, I think I'm probably too confident in my own decisions. I just don't care what people think. You know, I mean, people I care about, I care, but other people, they don't know me. So like, whatever they think, it doesn't matter. I'm worried about this smoking for you because I care about your health. Yeah, our mom died of lung cancer. That's a addendum. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Well, I do have the vape. I gotta try. I try, you guys. I don't drink, though. <laughs> Often. That's my excuse. I don't know. Yeah, for sure. You're right. It's bad. It's bad, but I just mean, yeah, you, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta accept your, some of your bad habits because, like, listen, no one's perfect. Unless your bad habit is like biting your nails, then stop. It's gross. I can't fucking stand the nail biting. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, I don't care if people do it. I just don't like when they do it next to me. It's very loud. Here we go. We're gonna go down a rabbit hole. We can. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't like noisy habits. Isn't that weird? No, it's not even that it's unhealthy. It's just the noise it makes sounds so painful. I got a friend that uses nail clippers. She tries to like literally remove them. It's so upsetting. I'm like, that's gotta hurt so bad. That sounds physically painful. I guess that's true for smoking. Two people say, I don't care if people do it, just don't do it next to me. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. But no, it's bad, it is bad, it is, oh God. Oh God, why did it look like we could float there? Well, it depends on where it's taking you, right? I think that it's like, is it like things that you're improving for other people or you're improving for yourself? Because you want like to be, you know what I mean? Better in your own head. You know what I mean? If you're doing it for other people, then don't do it because you're not you're still not going to be happy. You're doing it for yourself. Well, like that's the thing. Like I lost like 40 pounds, but I'm still not skinny. But I don't think I ever really care about being skinny skinny because like who fucking cares? I've been married for 16 years. He doesn't care. He's fine with big butts and boobs. Like it's not, you know. So I think if, if like, you know, I thought about that for streaming. I was like, I, I think I spent probably months thinking like if I get really, really skinny and fake boobs, people will want to see me on stream. But like. The truth is that's fucking irrelevant. And, and if I did that, it wouldn't make me happy. There would just be people saying dumb shit based on shit that I did for no reason. Like, it's not helpful. So, yeah. I mean, I think if it's things that, like, you want to be better, you know? But, like, we're, we're, and this is just my opinion as a medical worker, we're all just brains in meat sacks that are aging. So the truth is you're better off, like, making your brain better than your physical body because we're all going to age and we're all going to be old meat sacks. And if you're dumb or you're rude, no one's going to want to be around your meat sack. So that's kind of how I look at it. You know, it's like it, it's better to be, ed, you know, educate yourself or try to change your personality more than your looks, because that's not going to last. My patients are on average 75 and over. And believe me, their looks are fucking irrelevant. <laughs> like <laughs> the how they look does not matter to anybody. They're just old. So, I mean, I kind of look at it that way. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. I think the personality for me is harder to change the outside. I don't really care about people. Nobody cares how I look. Hi, baby. Better solution for, I don't care about views. I have a job. It's, I was there today. It was so fun. I loved every minute of it. All right. <laughs> there we go. It was fine. There we go. It wasn't the funnest, but it was okay. There we go. No, that's a thing. There we go. People have insecurities. It's normal. Um, I tried everything though. So like the ages she was talking about, I tried everything. I tried playing sports a bit. I tried being a cheerleader. I tried uh, being bulimic for a while, I tr I tried everything and nothing ever sticks except for being myself, which I think a lot of people find me obnoxious, frankly. Um, and that sucks. But like, you know, I'm well over 30 now, so I think that I'm just how I am. <laughs> so I don't think it's fixable. It's just the way it is now. Hit cam. You don't want to look at me, son? What are you saying? You don't want to look at me? Rude. Okay. How did I fall, Mal? Where was I trying to go? We got distracted. There we go. It depends on the habits you're trying to change. There we go. How did we fall, you guys? I don't know what I did there. No, no, everybody loves the kitties. It's fine. I too love kitties.
wasn't even hurting him. Am I missing something? I, I feel like 100% I'm not supposed to hobby horse him. Oh, you can't fight him. What? Oh, it just ends? Okay, well. If I could have killed him, I would have killed him. Let's clarify. Just keep dodging. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. I was like, how is he not dead? I hit him so many times. I feel like he was just getting more mad at me. Okay, the cats are just staring in sadness. Okay, you know, no more treats. They're so fat, Sen. Why do you spoil the cats? They're so fat. There we go. I like to... What? I like to just bait him. He can't go up over the lip where the edge of the floor is higher so I can go back and forth to lure him back and forth between that area. Can't go over the lip where the edge of the floor is higher. The Dio gym where you just sort of go left and go right and confuse it? Okay, we'll try. They, well, yeah. And so they are. So they are, Zen. I'mean, I, I don't think don't dodging him is that hard. With his windmills. And without I mean, risk look at it, he's dumb as shit. It's fine. A prudent exit is no less so for being hasty. He's not, like, the fastest, really. Like, I don't think he can catch me. He's pretty slow. Look at it, he's, like, not even getting in range. Look at me. Look at it, he's dumb as shit, Mal. Lee, Lee, Lee. We go up here. Is that it? You were trolling me. I was just gonna chase it in circles forever. <laughs> okay, I see. I read it now after I figured it out. Hey, I'm Rogues. Okay. We're ready. There's gonna be a look to the left and you need to when you get to the end of the hall. You know what I was thinking about that conversation? I don't know if you're still lurking Blackwell, but our mom used to say something. Um, but I think it's very true and people don't ever think about that. It's funny, um... Ooh. That's not funny. So our mom used to, before I die, so our mom used to say this thing. Yeah. Pizza! Because we were talking about pizza. We're pizza friends, you guys. Me and Blackwell can't talk to each other without eating pizza now. We're talking about pizza. <laughs> it's a thing. It's fine. Um, it's funny. Our mom used to say this thing that I think was so clever. Okay, she, she used to say, like, people will always say self-esteem. And I don't know if you've ever heard, like, the Oprah Winfrey quotes where people will tell you that, like, you, or even, like, RuPaul, you gotta love yourself before somebody else could love you, blah, 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 blah. Some of those quotes to me are so offensive because I do agree that they are not true at all. And my mom used to say this all the time, is that, like, self-esteem doesn't come from yourself magically. It's just not a thing. It, it's not real. Like, it's weird because self-esteem 100% comes from other people. And I think um, it's funny that Mel pointed that out. Growing up, I had I had a like a weird childhood and I had some stuff that wasn't good. And I do think that it affected my self-esteem a lot until I was like probably 14, 15. And I was surrounded by people that were like very supportive of me. So and my mom, our mother was the most supportive person on the planet for all three of us. Like it, it, we could do no wrong. I could murder someone in front of her and she would defend me like that's the kind of person she was. And I do think it gave us way too much um, confidence, which is probably why all three of us are kind of weird. You know, she has blue hair. My brother had pink hair. We, we really are, are pretty weird, eccentric, and um, are best friends with each other. Like, I don't worry too much what other people think because I have her and my brother, even with my mom being gone. Um, I, and I do think that my mom was, was right about that. Like, people say self-esteem as if you would magically manifest your, you know, self-esteem from yourself if, you, if your life you have baggage or things like that you don't like about yourself which, you know, a lot of times comes from other people, you know, over time. So I, I think it's fair to, like, think there's things about yourself that you don't like, you know, especially because you, self-esteem is not, I don't even know why it's called that, frankly, because it doesn't come from you. It, it I think that being with my significant other makes me, I from 21 and up, I've been way more confident because I know 
that he, you know, values my opinion. And if I, he cares about my opinion about books he reads. And, um, I had a friend that was asking about like romantic kind of like, how do you feel about like, if somebody thinks you're attractive, like it means a lot to her. And I was like, the truth is, I don't know if that ever meant a lot to me. Um, if people thinking I'm attractive, it really never has. Um, it's happened, but it just, it never meant much to me. I think meeting my husband, he doesn't really have a type. His ex was very skinny and blonde and tall, and I'm very short and like part Hispanic. We're complete opposites. But like, uh, I think we ride motorcycles together. We like read the same books. He wants me to read books. He reads like it, it gives me more self-esteem because I know that he cares about my opinion. And as I've gained and lost 60 pounds, he really doesn't give a shit, you know? So I, it's, it's weird. I was thinking about what you said, like in the back of my head. And it's like, I, I do think it, it being around people that make you feel confident in yourself makes a huge difference in like even wanting to be a better person or, or, you know, better yourself. It is for yourself, but it's also like the people you care about are giving you feedback that is good about yourself, even when you're failing at things like, you know, Mal being in here, I hate platformers, but she's very supportive, even if I'm screaming and raging. So I, I think uh, I think it's fair to like want to change things. But, you know, not if it's coming from people that are, are negative, I guess, is uh, is was just in my head from what you said. I was thinking about it. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of people in my whole life that I dated guys that um, didn't like that I smoke pot, didn't like my piercings, um, didn't like that I have weird hair. Um, I never changed any of it, but I felt really bad about it the whole time we were together because it's like I knew that they didn't like it. And it's like it makes me happy. So, you know, yeah, I think I think that's fair. And I don't think it's a self-esteem thing like people describe it. It's there's nothing wrong with your head. It just means that people put shit in your head about certain things about you. And you feel like it's super important to change that. But probably, you know, there's things about you that you would have been fine with if nobody ever said anything, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think I think it's weird how that works because everyone refers to it as if it's like something you manifest. But that's really just not, in my opinion, not at all how it works. It's like probably feedback at seven and it programs into our brain. And so forever we have like a thing about it. I, I hated wearing glasses. Until two wheels told me that it was hot. I literally I've worn glasses. You guys i have been blind since I was like six years old. And I've always been like a bowl cut glasses kid. Ad break. But anyway, I'm fine with him now. Because he thinks it's hot. So that's fine. 16. Back in the old face the jury days. Definitely seem to give a lot less crap as an adult. Wait, you can't set out goals if they achieve goals that. That's what gives them self-esteem. It just depends on who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Some people need validation from an um, external source like somebody to tell them they've done a good job. Well, not only that, but I think sometimes you change things and you just feel the same. You know, you think it's going to change. Because, I mean, I've been, I've been up to like, what, what probably like 65, 70 pounds heavier than this. And you feel the same. You think it's going to change something, but it doesn't. I think something even as simple as cleaning up your house or cleaning your room or even cleaning off your desk. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, I mean, your, your response, why is it... Why is the camera pointed this way? Oh, oh, I see. Got it, got it. Oh, that scared me. Woo. Woo. Oh my god. Oh. Woo. That scared the shit out of me. All right. Holy shit. Okay. That scared me. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> um, I mean, I did. I guess I knew, but like. An immortal monster. You don't have to describe it as an immortal monster. I don't love that. There you go. I always laugh when patients comment about my looks. Like, no, they're never negative, but they it's kind of like one of those like. Uh, I think it's like that overcorrecting. Like, they don't want to be offensive, so they just like. Pretend they really like my Medusa tattoo in like a hundred. I mean, some of Ultimately, them do, but some it's don't. only as good as the person who wields it. And I always tell them, like, our mom kind of raised us, like, just be a good person, you know? Like, be as weird as you want and look as weird as you want, but just, like, be a good person because, like, that's kind of more important. So I think we were raised, like, not caring about, like, how people look as much, I guess. Here we go. The Queen's Guardian rarely leaves his filthy lair, but you're special. Ooh. There we go. Anything, I would take a rude person over a boring person. <laughs> I mean, but I, I don't really, I think um, people that try to blend in freak me out. We've talked about this on here. Are you sleepy, Zen? Is it late? Did you make it home? Are you home now? 
Make it home. There we go. All right, let's see. shit was that? My heart hurts, you guys. Said nobody even needs to play Phasmo Sounds. Not a Mal, how long is it gonna chase me for?